Okay, Coach, you can uh, go ahead and start with the opening statement if you'd like, and then we'll go to questions. Yeah, <clears throat> give them credit. You know, give them credit. I thought uh, uh, they made a few more plays down the stretch. Hard-fought game, but they give Illinois credit. Um, thought we defended better in the second half, certainly than the first half. Uh, just didn't make enough plays there late. We'll go to Adam Jardy here to lead off the questions. Chris, um, like you said, not enough plays there late. You're up 68-64. You missed your last 10 shots. Dwayne had five of them. Some of them seemed forced. Um, what were you – what did you see there, I guess, your, your shot selection in the last three minutes? Yeah, he forced a couple. He forced a couple. The other – yeah, I think he had a couple clean ones. But, uh, um, you know, he's, he's, he's got to play with more poise uh, in those situations. And uh, he will. He will. I thought he played with really good poise throughout the game. Um, but we got to help him with that. We gotta, he's got to make better decisions there late. And during, um, during the, the speeches and things like that, uh, you know, I don't want to read too much into things, but he stood about 15 feet away from everybody. It looked like he couldn't talk to anyone. Did you have any conversations with him yet, or have you addressed it at all with him, just, I guess, how, how he comes out of a game like this? Oh, no, he's fine. He just was disappointed. He wanted okay. to win for his seniors. No, no, he okay. – he loves his loves his seniors. Loves his seniors. He was disappointed. I, I don't know what reaction you want a young man to make right after the game um, when he loves he loves CJ. He loves Kyle. I think probably that was part of it. He was so emotional because he he wanted it so bad for those guys. Thank you. Next. Nope. Sorry. Go ahead. Said thank you. Uh, we'll stick with the dispatch here with uh, Rob Aller. Next question. Hey, Chris, you guys have been so good uh, closing out most of the season, and then it's been a little bit of a struggle here of late. When do you start to get concerned that it becomes a mental thing, a confidence thing late, or is that not a concern? You know, I think um, you always think about that. Um, you know, I thought Kyle's look was, was, was a really clean one. Um, um, you know, he's, he made that one say against Iowa at Iowa, um, just missed it here today. But, um, you know, I think the quality of shot is, is what we're looking at, Rob. And I thought we had, you know, okay quality with a couple possessions, other possessions, I thought we had good quality. We just missed them. But, um, uh, you know, I think again, uh, we pressed uh, a, a couple of those possessions. We pressed and didn't didn't play with enough poise there late. But other other possessions we did. We just didn't we just didn't convert. These guys are eighteen, nineteen, whatever, twenty years old. They bounce back pretty good. But how do you keep them buoyant beyond that with with the little mini with this little streak here? Yeah, I think you just focus on uh, the task at hand, improving, growing. We're going to have a really big time challenge. Uh, our first game in the Big Ten tournament. I think you just focus on as much as better. Take some of the positives that came out of today, and I think there definitely were some positives that came out of today. Uh, disappointed, uh, as, as as disappointed as these guys are, but I think there were some positives that came out of today. And, um, you know, move forward. Uh, next we'll move over to Bill Landis. Bill? Chris, with a, a guy like Dwayne, who, who's always, I guess more often than not, going to have the ball in his hands in late game situations, how do you get him to strike a balance between, you know, being himself, which is an aggressive, confident guy, and looking to play make more? Because there were stretches in the second half where, where he was finding guy. I think he had six assists. He, he looked like a, you know, a really dynamic kind of playmaker for you. And then in the last four, it just looked like he was trying to force his. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, I thought he had some really, really good decisions. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I think we just, you know, we got to keep teaching him. You know, we got to keep teaching him. He's got to, he just got to play with more poise, um, make, make better decisions there late because the ball is going to be, going to continue to be in his hands. Um, we just got to keep teaching. He's a willing learner. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, collectively we had poor ball screen defense um, uh, there against IO late. Um, and I think some of that was affected by our, our offensive. Um, a couple guys um, disappointed about their 
their decision made. Obviously, these guys these guys wanted the game, but I think just keep teaching Dwayne those situations where he's got to read read the game and um, read the game better. But uh, you're right. I thought his decision making at, at parts of the game was was really good. And it, it seemed I know you're probably not happy with him fouling out, but aside from that, it seemed like Justice was fairly assertive today, more assertive than he has been in the last few games. And I, I know with his versatility, it seems like a guy you have to get going here as you get into March. What did you think of the way he played? I thought he was uh, was active, um, active on the glass. I uh, thought um, I thought he did some really good things. Uh, next up, Stephen Means. Coach, just to follow up on Justice, obviously he had a solid game today, and he's had some other, you know, solid games this year, especially against some of the better opponents on your guys' schedule. How do you get that to be more consistent now that you're in a situation where it is win or go home from every game going forward? Yeah, just focus on his, um, you know, playing to his strengths, him playing to his strengths. Uh, he's, he's, he is battling this groin injury that, that has limited his practice. Um, uh, significantly. Um, so I think getting him healthy and then just get him playing to his strengths. Again, I thought he did some good things today. I thought his effort um, on the glass was really good. Defensively, I think he can continue to grow, but just keep focus on him doing what he does and, and doing it well. And three of these last four losses outside that Iowa game where the offense just wasn't there have pretty much come down to this last four or five minute stretch and things kind of went haywire for you guys in each of those games. How do you, you know, improve in that area? How do you kind of learn from these those three games and kind of apply it going into the tournament here? Yeah, we just got to keep teaching. Got to keep working on it. Got to keep got to keep teaching. Got to, got to learn. Um, and uh, guys got to make better decisions. Some of it comes down to making shots. Um, they make an open three. We miss an open three. Some of that's, you know, that's basketball. Uh, next up here for a question, um, Brendan Gulick. Hey Chris, it, it felt like the uh, the second half there was a different mentality around trying to drive at Kofi Coburn. I, I know he didn't have a foul in the first half. He picked up four fouls in about 12 minutes in the second half. Was that just a product of the way you were playing, or was that a, an emphasis that you guys made in the locker room saying, hey, we got to try to drive at this guy and get him off the floor? No, I think we were just trying to be more assertive offensively. Um, you know, I think we're trying to be more assertive and uh, attack in, in better situations and some ball screen situations. I think our guys did a good job of that. And uh, how about with the schedule this week? Whether or not you were going to play Thursday or Friday, was your you know, preparation schedule to get ready for the Big Ten tournament going to be the same, going to be different based on when you would start playing? Do, do you have any idea about that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll – um, I believe right now we're we're playing on Thursday, so we'll, we'll you know play in the week accordingly. Patrick Murphy, next. Chris, I know we talked a lot the past week or so about the offense and, and getting that back going. Tonight you had some times when you guys struggled and, and went scoreless for a while, and, and then you made some runs as well. What are the positives and negatives that you take out of this offensively with what you guys were able to do after you know, a week off to work on things? Yeah, we were, we're certainly better than we were against Iowa, but, um, um, but I just think we got to keep getting better in certain areas. You know, we, we were uh, too slow to a couple loose balls. Um, and uh, again, I, I didn't think we played with, uh, you know, the necessary poise there uh, uh, late. Uh, but there's some really good things that came out of the game, some really good moments. Some guys did some really good things. I thought um, our effort in certain areas was was much better. Uh, we looked fresher. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll evaluate all those things and, and um, you know, have a great film session and get back to work. And I know you talked about Justin when we talked to you the other day of getting him open and, and whatnot, but – is there something to him just needing to take some of the shots? It seemed at times today he passed up a couple that maybe were contested, but he was taking, you know, a month or so ago. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think I saw the same thing. I thought he had some, um, you know, I thought he was aggressive. As a matter of fact, I thought probably one he could have uh, late there. I thought he played with necessary aggressiveness and, and uh, um, 
guys did a good job screening to get him open. I, I've got no fault with. I mean, I think he was two of seven. Uh, I think one of them probably he could have fed there late uh, to EJ. Um, that probably would have been a better decision there late. But I, I liked his aggressiveness. Uh, next up, Keaton. I apologize if I mispronounced your last name here. Keaton Mezano. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Um, Coach, just going into this stretch, this four-game stretch, you kind of talked about how you had learned about your team's maturity, their poise throughout this. Just kind of what have you learned despite the losing streak? Have you seen any positives from your team, negatives? Just what have you taken from this streak? Uh, I, I'm not really looking at anything in terms of the streak. I just think we're trying to get better from one game to the next. So I, I would say that, uh, um, you know, we learned from, from the Iowa game. We were better uh, today. And we got to we got to learn from from today and keep moving forward into next week. You okay. know the the schedule is what it is. The you know we just we're trying to take from one game to one practice, get better and and move forward. And and then I want to ask you about the student section. There were seven seniors there today. They said they reached out, wanted to be able to go there. Um, just anything you can tell about kind of the process of getting there, and then also what it was like to have a whole season without having the nut house there. Yeah, we just loved have loved having him there. I saw him saw him right before tip. Uh David Egelhoff pointed him out. I just I love those guys. And those guys have been, you know, the nut house. We we desperately missed them, you know, particularly in these, you know, these last three home games. You just, you know, I'm sure that's across the across the country, but uh we've desperately missed them. So I loved seeing them there. I'm so I know our players are too. We're so grateful that they've um, you know, took the initiative to, 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 to get over here. It means a lot to them. Uh, we love the nut house. We appreciate them. Love those seniors that have committed a lot of their, you know, time throughout their college careers to come over here and support us and give great energy. And, uh, we're just really appreciative of them. So I loved, wanted to go hug every one of them. Uh, you know, just couldn't do that. They were up there pretty high. Thanks. Uh, we'll take a couple more here. Um, go to Colin Hasshill, and then we'll have Rob Aller with the follow-up. Right, CJ really came on in, in the second half in a big way for you guys. And then I think after he made that three with a little under four, you know, I think you know, he went a little over three minutes without a shot. And that was when you guys were really struggling offensively. When you look back on it, you reflect on it, do, do you wish that you got more looks from him late in the game? Yeah, I think, I think we missed him a couple times on some actions we were geared to running uh, we ran two actions to him, um, and um, we just had, we got – they made it difficult for him to catch it. We got to get him the ball there. You taught you – know, you've talked after wins sometimes this season about the, the need to, to learn from games no matter what the result is. Are you, are, do, you, do you feel good after this game that, that you will be able to, to learn from what you need, uh, what, what didn't go wrong in this game, and take it into the tournament play? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Again, I thought uh, we did some good things, but uh, there were some plays that we, we've just got to get better with. You know, I just think we stopped on a, a loose ball situation there in the middle of uh, we didn't play through the whistle. Um, there are just some things where we can, you know, we can be better. But we did some really good things, and uh, hopefully we can, we can dissect and look at the things where we have to do better and, and learn from them. Uh, and Rob, go ahead. Chris, you're talking about poise, you're talking about decision-making, we're talking about learning. Is it a bit of a head-scratcher? You've done this a long time. Is this a bit of a head-scratcher that, uh, that the poise isn't there and that the decision-making isn't there when it was earlier in the season? In other words, these guys, do they need to keep relearning or what's happening? No, no, I just think it's um... – you know, I think that's all. We, that's an ongoing process for for us. You know, I think we came into the season, kind of questioning how we were going to be in those moments, and we we've, we've done a really good job in some moments. And honestly, we probably won some games where we where we weren't always great with that. Uh, um, but I thought we had really good decision making. Um, you know, from like the the ten minute mark to the to the three minute mark. Um, and then we had, we had some good decisions there late. Again, we had some good, clean looks. But um, uh, I think it's an ongoing process. It's an ongoing process, I think, for – it's not just for, for Dwayne. I think that's a thing you're constantly working on. We're playing – you know, we played a good defense. 
um, against a good defense. And, uh, you know, we've just got to be more committed to getting uh, the ball where we need to get to it. But, again, we're probably having a different conversation if, you know, Dwayne makes that three coming to his left. Uh, that's a pretty clean look. Um, you know, it's a clean look. Do I have a problem with that? You know, I think uh, it was a pretty clean look. You know, do I have a problem with Kyle's look? Not really. Again, I thought we missed uh, EJ a couple times there, and then they really collapsed on him, and we did get him the ball. Uh, but, um, you know, you make one or two of those, it's a different deal. Uh, Adam, I saw your, your hand refresh there. Are you all set, or did you have another question? Yeah, I just had one more follow-up about EJ. Um, because obviously, he, it took him a little while to get going. I know he's had success against these guys. Um, how did they maybe game plan for him differently this time? And, and what kind of adjustment did you see him make as the game went on to obviously be more effective as in the second half? Yeah, I don't know if it was much adjustment as, as, as much as, you know, they were just physical with him. They, they took away his spot. Um, and he just, he honestly, he missed some clean looks that he made in the second half. I think that was a little bit more. We put, we put him in a few different situations, but some of it was he just he missed some clean looks that, that he made there in the second half. Okay, we all set, everyone? Okay, thanks, Coach. Appreciate the time. Thank you.